Hello friends, today I suggest you go to South America, namely to the Amazon River Basin. There are many dangers lurking in its muddy waters. Thousands of piranhas capable of eating a cow, black caimans with the strength of a tiger and the reaction of a mongoose, anacondas crawling along the river bottom and reaching 9 meters in length. And along the steep banks, the jaguar roams, and, and look out for potential prey. Cozy place, isn't it? And our hero found a place in this friendly team. You're on the Animal Instinct channel, and today we're going to look at a giant otter in action. Support this video with a like if you like this category, as well as subscribe to the channel and enable notification of new videos if you haven't done so yet. Well, we are already starting. In addition to the giant, or as it is also called, the Brazilian otter. The otter subfamily has as many as 12 species. There are also sea otters in it, which are the heaviest, and reach a weight of 100 pounds. There are ordinary otters, smooth-haired, American, and even worthless, one of whose representatives lives in Africa. But our heroes are perhaps the most interesting representatives of their family, because they not only somehow survive in the Amazon, but also terrify all their harmless neighbors. Just imagine a family of honey eaters who for some reason settled in the river. These will be the Brazilian otters. By the way, they live not only in Brazil, but also in Ecuador, Paraguay, Colombia and Peru, Venezuela and Guyana. They are not called giant for nothing because these river honey eaters can grow up to 7 feet in length and weigh up to 66 pounds. At the same time, a third of the otter's length is occupied by the tail, which can reach up to 2.5 feet and it gives excellent acceleration to the owner underwater. This family, which inspires fear on all the inhabitants of the river, they know that the best defense is an attack and attack anyone who meets on the way. By this behavior, they have gained authority in the Amazon, and few people dare to attack them, who, for example, can still afford to lie down on the sand and fall down next to the Caymans. At the same time, the leader of the gang is the mother, Oh, it is she who leads her group both on hunting and on protection from predators. The father of the family often acts as security guard. He patrols the territory, marks it, and warns in case of danger. Usually other adult family members help him in this. Otters, like all representatives of the Martin family, are still stinky. They have anal glands with which they mark the boundaries of their possessions. Despite their difficult nature, otters do not like to conflict between families so they try to bypass someone else's territory and not provoke fights. At the same time, otters are very sociable and constantly talk to each other, even during hunting. With their cries, they coordinate the actions of the whole group. Not a single otter moves away from the group to where it will not be heard. With such training, no walkie-talkies are needed. In addition to the position of leader, the mother still manages to give birth to children twice a year and attach them to her gang. No one else can do this because all the family members are blood brothers and sisters. Usually one to five otters are born in a litter. They are not particularly treated with ceremony, and after a few months, they are already learning to benefit by getting food. However, it is not so easy for them to catch fast fish, whether it's adults. When the puppies turn 23, they can leave the family to create their own gang of base breed Olshchikov. But if you can't put together your family, the family will gladly accept the prodigal son or daughter back. Giant otters are quite thin for their size, but despite this, they like to eat and they eat up to 20% of their body weight per day. Therefore, as soon as they wake up, they immediately go to hunt the inhabitants of the river. Snakes, caimans, small rodents on the shore, bird nests, no difference, as long as it was edible. But the main and favorite dish is fish. Otters swim excellently and can easily catch up with even the fastest fish underwater. They give acceleration with their hind legs and tail, and the front ones are more used as a rus, which makes the otter very maneuverable in the water and they hunt the whole gang at the same time, attacking fish from different sides. Sometimes they are so keen on fishing that they can catch much more than they need and then choke on it. When they are full, you can warm up on the beach and lie on the sand. And of course, one of my favorite activities is combing each other, and giant otters have no paws, but handles with webbed fingers and claws. But real handles. Here the otter holds fish with such handles and eats. By the way, they are not greedy at all. They willingly share their prey with other family members. It is not surprising that with such a character, they get along with very few people. 
it's time to see what giant otters are capable of in business. The black caiman is a formidable predator. Growing up to 17 feet in length, he has a quick reaction and can pose a certain danger to the family, a choice, especially for young animals. Returning home, the otters met the caimans, who were hiding in shallow water and walked twice as much. Otters do not give up and attack the enemy without delay, shouting, a few seconds are enough for the border. Well to understand that jokes are bad with this gang, and he immediately climbs ashore and hides in the forest vegetation. Even if a crocodile swims in the middle of the river, otters will definitely get to him. How here an unsuspecting caiman calmly swims and does not touch anyone. But then an otter's head appeared out of the water for a second. There are already two heads, their hour will begin. The caiman clearly did not expect such an attack. He tries to hide, but the otters attack him again. And only when they got closer to the shore, the caiman felt safe, and the otter calmly swam on. And again, a reptile that has entered someone else's territory. Otters do not forgive this. Not when the gang immediately becomes active and leans high out of the water, looking at the uninvited guest. Now it remains only to carefully surround the caiman and attack him. Apparently, this caiman understood who he was dealing with, because, like a torpedo, he rushed with all his might to the saving shore. But even on the shore, you can't hide from such a brigade. Patrolling the neighborhood, the otters found a very small caiman who was basking in the sun, and as usual, the gob company came out to see who was so bold. They bypass the reptile from all sides, but the caiman does not react to them in any way. This is a very surprising choice, and they step aside to talk. The second attempt to get to the bottom is more successful, and the crocodile does not even get into the water. But not all caimans are so accommodating, not those who fight to the last. Here the otters discovered the caiman, and a battle ensued. They attack from all sides, including from under the water. But the caiman is in no hurry to leave. The family attacks without stopping, and the fight slowly crosses the thicket. The head of the defeated crocodile is already visible. The otters won. But in this battle, they lost two of their fighters. In general, otters attack almost everything that moves, and this snapping turtle is no exception. She was unlucky to be at the steep bank, which the turtles could not climb. This is an easy prey for an otter, and even a strong armor will not save here. The otter easily flips the turtle and finds the labs in places. Now you can drag the prey into the bushes and slowly start eating, and you can even return the next day for more. But there's another large and dangerous predator walking through the jungles of South America. He can easily catch a large caiman, let alone the smaller inhabitants of the river. And he also likes to jump unexpectedly from above, is not afraid of water at all, and swims perfectly. This is a jaguar, and its paths often intersect with otters. After all, he usually goes near the shore, looking for prey for himself, and may accidentally stumble upon the dwellings of giant exhalations. In such meetings, it is necessary to immediately show who is in charge here, which the otters did, driving the predators into the bushes. And only when the danger passed, the jaguar embroidered the closure. Jaguar and often climb trees that have fallen into the water to hunt down some wild boar. But this hunter was unlucky, and otters swam to him instead of a crocodile. Of course, they did not tolerate such insolence and went on the offensive shouting. Just listen to these sounds. These guys even have one warrior in the field. Here, a giant otter drove two jaguars from a tree with just one of its kind. Apparently, they already know what kind of animal it is and chose to leave in a good way. Sometimes, however, the jaguar takes the fight, but then the choice goes to the entrance of sharp teeth that can hurt the enemy. But if adults can easily stand up for themselves, then young family members are more vulnerable. They try to stay with their elders, but it doesn't always work out. Here, a female jaguar managed to attack an otter cub and grabbed it. But the family instantly attacked the cat. It dropped the prey while running away. The jaguar doesn't leave, hoping to get his lunch, but the otter grabs the cub and retreats the water. In this fight, the cub died. Otters are not afraid even of such huge predators as anacondas. For example, this anaconda can swallow an otter whole, but it is not afraid and comes very close. Excellent reaction helps to avoid a snake bite, but alone with such an enemy cannot cope. But otters easily catch and eat smaller snakes even if they are not careful. Monkeys can become their prey if they go down too close to the water, and no one will help her in this case. Giant otters peacefully coexist with humans and usually do not show aggression. 
but they will never tolerate outsiders on their territory. And here, out of nowhere, an otter has swum in and is expressing dissatisfaction with his whole appearance. But the guy quickly understood everything. And as soon as the otter turned away, he immediately jumped off someone else's log. Our otters differ from the Brazilian ones except in size. They certainly don't have the audacity. Here, too, the otter really liked it. The fish caught, so much so that she clung on and did not even think to let her go. Moreover, the otter is not at all confused by the fact that the fish is no longer, and that's who's really hungry. If you like the issue, please support it with a like, comment, subscribe, and we promise to do the best for you. See you soon in the next video.